going on I wonder if you guys can pick up what kind of seats these are that I'm actually in right now I mean for all the gearheads you know you should be able to know what we're rolling in but anyways peeps today is one of those vlogs that um, another freestyle vlog good vibes and good energy um, this driver and this owner in particular you guys are pretty familiar with him if you've been keeping up with the vlogs so before we get into it big up to Rosie Sportswear again for providing my jersey and while this while I'm while this vlog is being shot now I think we should be close to be hitting 50k or at 50k so because we're so close and everybody love the vibe and them say oh we reach 50k now Rosie Sportswear is throwing in another jersey again for another lucky subscriber so yo just leave in the comment section below Rosie's Sportswear you see me that's all I'll be picking a winner as usual on my IG live so yeah peeps Otis the man himself I heard I was requested yeah no, no. very requested bro <laughs> trust me what's going on why well, I'm a day of papa Take yeah, it man. easy now the Sunday morning, yo. Mm -hmm. Respect <sighs> for the invite too. Yeah man, no problem. We're supposed to be actually running out of town quickly. To go just have a little vibe today, you know? Yeah. yeah man, it should be a good day, it should be a good day. So Ricky's ever you guys haven't seen us yet. And this was one requested on the vlog. So okay, I'll just stop up and get some gas now. And then we're heading out. Mad. And I had in a little octanium, you know? Bump up the octane a little bit. Peeps, you guys can check this out. It's a good product, uh, courtesy of BP. You don't know, motor looks cool. Big up yourself again. Okay. So that was fully built and good. 
and reason you upgraded that car you never want your drive and I, ne I never want that whole SST dilemma like what people have in you know, the states are here because I've heard the, the whole horror stories where them car they were just stuck in a second gear and you know all them madness there yeah. even with my SST it's about an upgraded cooler so it have the stock one plus an upgraded one on it so I just do everything in my power to keep it safe genuine um, SSD, no, yes, yo, man. them fluid are expensive, you know, Nick. Yeah. At 200 US for one quart, you know. Wow. You so. hear that, people? <laughs> so, when you see them car, I don't think it's just a walk in the park to maintain them. You, you, have, you, have, you have your dirty money. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, man. It has a nice ride to it. Uh, what kind of suspension are you running? Um, I have on the Milstein with Milstein shocks and we call them spring, the Swift, Swift Sport Springs. Okay. Send me that video there, you know. I'm gonna some little parts be care, but I tell you, I'm gonna post that video there. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, yeah, go, so today I'll be rolling in Ricky's car. You see me? But yo, I'm gonna show you one and a few of the other machines that are here. Probably get a couple of interviews from the other owners and you know, see what everything is like. Yeah, lifestyle. Watch your vibe. I know ever six in the building. How often do you see them this clean? So I'm going to actually get a chit chat with the owner right now. Big up, big up, oh god, oh god, good. there buddy. Yeah man. So yo, fams, I never know so I saw you did have them clean machine. You hide, yeah. you hide the machine from yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, you know how we um, our thing them always clean. So we just keep it clean. Um not a daily driver, so you all like a seat in the street. Introduce yourself. Nicholas Thomas man. Um proud ever six owner from nine from how long now? Um 2010. For oh, 10 years now. How do you, you manage to keep it in such a pristine It, it, it wash whenever I drive it and polish. Yeah. So it has never, and I've never driven it out unless it, it, it polish. 
So, and I wash it personally. It's, it's my hobby that um, car wash can't give me the wash that I'm looking for. You know. Give me some um, some mods that you have done to it. Um, you know, so it's running actually. It it's stuck. You know, you just have a tune on it. Wow. So everything about it is stuck. The intercooler, turbo, injectors. Um, it's running an Evo 8 EC, which is where we can tune it. So it have a tune on it. So yeah. it's running pretty good. On about maybe 20, 22 pound boost. You know, this car fetch some good money now, right? Yeah, man, I know, man, because right now I see them coming in and um, collector's item right now. Yeah, collector's I, I item. would not advise you to sell this car. But man. I don't think I will. The yeah. amount of offers I've gotten, but you can't let go of this. You know, it's, it's fun, it's a little enjoyment, you know? Yeah. Peace of mind. Now give me a quick walk around of it and can show the engine and thing. Yeah, man. Um, you know, so the spray job on it is. It what does, the original came with or you sprayed it over? We spray over a couple of panels. Okay. Before, yeah. That, 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 that I love the fox head stock, brother. Yeah. I can see upgrade wheels. These are BBS. Yeah, these are Evo 9 um, MR BBS yeah. wheels. I've sprayed the calipers blue. Right, so add, the, add a little vibes to the calipers. Yeah, yeah. Right, the right. headlights are aftermarket with the black background. I okay, okay. The original ones aftermarket, the aftermarket. So, yeah, corrected. Man. Stand corrected. So, aftermarket headlights with corner lamps. Mm -hmm. Nice, let's see in the engine bay. Yeah. Not looking the prettiest, but. <laughs> no, man, when you talk about it, look good, yeah, but yeah, oily. Yeah. Yeah, Everything so, looking clean, um, same way. Like I say, it, it, it's stuck. I mean, we have the. We change out the, the, the intercool, intercooler pipes. Yeah. Um, But it, it's running pretty stuck. I, I see the suspension, but I want yeah. you to tell them what suspension is. BC are running. Um, yeah. is, the, is the best thing right now. Um, value for money, yeah. And if you damage one, you can always just add back an insert, so it's a good suspension. So feels good, nice. Mm. Yeah, man, let me see the interior as well. Look at the interior, interior looking good as well, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the driver's seat, a little rear end yeah man. This, this yeah. is a natural part of it, yeah. Um, and it's hard to get back the material, the original yeah, material, yeah, anyway. But apart from that, brother, man, tell you a six year happen. So, as far as as far as any other performance upgrades, anything you have in mind? Well, every time I think about it, you know. You want to you want to retain the the, the, the stock. I want I like the stock feel. You yeah. know, it's it's, it's it's feel good for the road. Yeah. I don't want to be building, building too much power and then you're not drivable or you know having a lot of mechanical failures because mm -hmm. you know in a running horsepower sometimes you run into problems. Um, but I think of upgrading two things, maybe the turbo and the injectors. Okay. Um, nothing too should, crazy. Nothing too crazy. Should be able to get some good power from that alone. Yeah, man. I love it, man. Yeah. So, yo, peeps, man, I tell you, the machine, nice, bro. I tell you, bro, you're <laughs> doing a good man. job keeping it up, you know. It's better. It's better. It's better. I shot a couple of little cinematic sites. Yeah, you man. Know? Do you think? Give the people them a vibe, you know. All right. Cool, yeah. Cool. as a sunroof so yo <laughs> I've always loved a car that is a high performance car with a sunroof I don't know why I guess because it kind of fits with my vibe and my whole image I guess I kind of like that whole sunroof vibe so I used to always run them road 
So let me just give you guys a quick walkthrough of the some of the cars that are here today. Just um let's go par. Yeah you saw the Evo 6 earlier. So 335 right here. The Evo are nice here. Well, wicked buzz to it. Oh man. Uh, the FD2 tower bar <laughs> and then uh, Mad Ting Ricky's car Ricky Ever 10 
Yeah. And um, FK8. Don't know the thing already. So, my things on. You don't know. Swifts are over there. Car in so. Alright, so watch out now. I heard ice a while ago. Because apparently, in part between the two Evos. Ice. What are you doing parking between the two ever, sir? Like I say, I'm just trying to throw them off the game to make them a little bit nervous yeah. because I know they have they have the eyes in the back of their heads and they know that they can't blink or sit for a minute because if they do, it's gonna be trouble. Yeah. Awesome. See them see the nervous laughter. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm talking about. What do you say about that, Ricky? I have no comment. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah man. So, so good vibes peeps. Oh. Alright lifestyle, so yo, we actually oh, just got to Dover for a driver development workshop put on by ice and his crew so you're gonna see in this clip where he's outlaying the covid protocols the rules of the day and pretty much getting an introduction from one and few other drivers because you know have to follow the proper measures and steps due to the covid and you don't know safety and all of that good stuff you see me so getting into it Keep the groups as separate as we can as well. So the drivers, although you're gonna maintain social distancing among your small groups, also I want the groups to not have to too much interaction, particularly for persons who don't come from the same household. So spectator areas, participant or driver area is generally going to be over here as well. Now outside of that, I'm gonna ask everyone to at all times, please wear a mask, a face mask, as long as you are not at the moment eating or drinking please wear your face mask we have provided for those who don't ha didn't bring for themselves we have provided hand sanitizers and we invite you to use it as generously as you would like again health safety are the number one concerns and we will make them rules number one two and three safety 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 and we're going to capture health as a part of that as well so Please observe that, keep it disciplined, keep it uniform, and so we want to have a safe and productive day where no one leaves here anything other than totally pleased about what happened and nobody who reflects on what would have happened here today has anything negative or critical to say either. That is what we want to leave here as a legacy because this program is hopefully not the last, although it's the last of 2020, it's not the last that we will be having. And we want to ensure that those who will come after us don't have any difficulty in doing something like this as you are doing because of anything that we did here today. Fair enough? Yeah. All right, so with that said. <laughs> All right, um, I, I'm Joel Campbell. I'm from Klein and I drive uh, FK8 on the Civic Type R. Um, first track day, probably did uh, one pull down at um, Vernon Field. But that's pretty much it for me. So I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Sorry? And if this must be or just random. You say one pass. No, Vernon Field. I said Vernon Field. So you have a quarter matter? No. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Ricky. Alright, so this is just a a convoy to pretty much um show the drivers. Sorry. It's just it's pretty much a convoy to give a demonstration to the drivers of 